my name is Jasmine. Hello all! It is 7.16 p.m. and we are really late on starting this video. Today we are going to be sewing this. And I don't know if you can see how bad it, this top is. More up close you can see how yellow this top has turned. I really don't know how it got like this. Like it was really just sitting in my closet and then I picked it up to use it this summer and I was like, well, I can't use that anymore. So let me know if you have solutions on how to fix this. So I, didn't, I didn't make this. I bought this like a year ago and it got destroyed. But I was actually planning on making this top even before I bought it last year. And maybe you've seen this like trending for the summer. But yeah, so I attempted to make this before I even bought it. Gave up. <laughs> because I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, then I took a sewing class, realized that I was making a lot of mistakes when I was trying to sew. And so we are back at it again, hoping that I remembered everything I learned in sewing class. Hopefully it turns out like this, minus the yellow pit stains, of course. And we're gonna try this again. So let's get started. And we are pulling the sewing machine out, which I have not touched in months. Hello again. Oh, that's where my bidet went. Hello. For those of you who don't know, this is a portable bidet, and yes, I do use it. It's very handy. Bidets are a great thing. Yeah. There she is. Isn't she a beaut? Now that we've finished romanticizing my sewing machine that I honestly don't even know how to use, let's get sewing. So these are the remnants from the top I tried to make last year. There's the scraps and yeah, it still has some pins in it. I honestly should have taken it out before I even put it in the box that I kept it in. I am poking myself as we speak, but yeah, I'm gonna see if I can salvage this. And if not, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll see. I'm gonna try to pick up from where I left off from and see if I can salvage this old piece and still make it into a top. So today we're going to be using this video by Kirsten Zellers, which I'm using Pinterest right now, but you can totally use TikTok as well to find her, which I think that's where she makes most of her content from. Here are the materials I needed to make the top. You'll need fabric, some matching thread, an iron, a ruler, sewing pins, sewing scissors or a rotary cutter, a seam ripper, some elastic or bands, and a safety pin. up from where I left off last time, it looks like I need to go iron the fabric. So let's go do that. That's the tomato soup I just made. Looks like it's ready. Next in the video after ironing, it says to flip it inside out and sew the hole that was open shut. I already did that, so I think last time when I tried to make this top, I skipped over ironing it, which I shouldn't have done, and just sewed it anyways. But this time I ironed it, and I'm just gonna reinforce it and go over it one more time, because I know that my threads were kind of loose the first time I tried to make this top. So a little hiccup came up, and I kind of forgot how to put in the bobbin already, so I'm just gonna watch a video real quick and refresh myself on that. A few moments later. Uh, so I just realized that I forgot to put the plate on top. I mean, I hope this didn't mess it up. I think I fucked up, but you know, we're gonna try to fix it. Yeah. Okay, so I fixed it. And next in the video, it says to sew a half inch from the line that I just sewed and just sew a straight line with that. So now in the video, she says we need to sew an inch and a half from the top and use a one and a half inch seam allowance. So we're gonna do that. Next in the video, she said to sew another line with a three quarters of an inch seam allowance from the line that we just sewed. Okay, so we got through that part, and she said to basically do the same thing on the bottom, so we're gonna do that. 
Okay guys, it's getting dark in my apartment. Don't mind my mirror in the middle of the room from when I was recording and also um, my diffuser. <laughs> Um, but basically next she said to seam rip in between the two parts that I just sewed, so we're gonna do that. The next day. We're at Target right now because I realized that I, I didn't have the elastic band I needed to finish the, um, the top. And yeah. Look, I found these cute little plant pins. I kind of want them, but I don't need them. I'm gonna hold back. So Target doesn't seem to have what we're looking for, so we're going to go to a well, fabric store. Containers. Yeah, lots of bought containers. And now we're going to go to a fabric store. Sorry, it's noisy. I'm not sure how many yards it was, but I think like three should be good. What, three yards? I think so. I bought some extra elastic just in case I wanted to make another top as well. And Joanne's was giving away free stuff at the counter, so I took this golden unicorn chalk home with me. Okay guys, so I got my elastic and my fabric, and next she basically said to put the elastic through both sides of the fabric using a safety pin to kind of like guide it through, so we're gonna try that. So we just made it to the other side with the safety pin. This is a momentous moment, guys. We're not even done yet, but I am already very proud. We did it, we did it, Joe. I then proceeded to do the same thing to the other side. Honestly, out of all the steps it took to make this top, putting in the elastic took the longest. Okay guys, so we have like one side done so far. I'm just gonna check to see if the armhole size is good for me. And we're just gonna repeat it on the other side and don't mind this giant ball of elastic. Just ignore it, you know? Okay, so this is how the final top looks like. I'm gonna go try it on and show you what it looks like on me. So this is how the top turned out. This is the front of it. Back. It's a little revealing on the back, but I live in Texas and it's hot here, so I think it's totally fine. I love it. I think it's so cute. The only thing that I would maybe change in the future if I were to make this top again is to use a different type of strap and maybe use a fabric one instead of an elastic, just because I noticed that the elastic tends to stretch out a little bit. But other than that, I love it. Let me know what you guys think on how I did. I wore it with shorts because I wanted to show you guys what I would most likely be wearing it with. But yes, let me know how you guys think I did on making this. I think for my first top, pretty good. And if you have any suggestions on what you'd like me to make next, let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. And if you liked it, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again next week. Bye.